Hello, Ivan, how are you? Ivan? Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? Yeah, great. Uh, I'm tired because uh, the day we went with my with my uh, team on my work uh, I celebrated our build our build days on the all the year. Uh, today we went to uh, Apulo Lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm tired. I'm tired because it's, it's it was great this day. Apulo. The big happiness. Apulo Lake. <laughs> this is in, in San Vicente, right? Uh, Ilopango. Ilopango. Sorry. In Ilopango. Mm -hmm. And did you have a good time? Yes. Yes? Yes, 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 yes. What did you do? Did you go into the boats? Did you... Uh, go swimming. What happened? Swimming. We go swimming, and uh, we was at a trip and lancha, lancha, come on. On the boat. Yes, in the boat. Into the lake, and, and, and we cooking carne asada, uh -huh. uh, barbecue beef. Ah, uh, yes, a uh, barbecue beef. We made the. Uh, our our foods. Hey, it was a great day. Ah, excellent. That's yes, good. Yes. That's good that you had a great day. And tomorrow you yes. have to go to work. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Again, it's very this unusual. Is the life. Uh huh. It's very unusual that you have today free and then tomorrow you have to go to work. It's is not yeah. normal. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. But in my case, is 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 the is the, the my how se dice como diría mi diario trabajar. My daily. My daily. daily. Uh huh. My daily work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit unusual, but okay. All right. Well. Uh, I see David still can't talk. Don't worry, David. Thank you for putting Oyente. That way we don't get confused. Thank you, Rebecca, for putting Oyente. That way we know who can participate and who cannot. Excellent. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to start our unit five. Remember that we only have four more classes. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We have to have everything completed. So today we're going to begin with unit five. We have a few grammar tips, okay? Ivan, can you please read what is the objective? Okay. In this class, you will listen to a conversation where, on real conditional sentences with, uh, with if clauses are used in context. Good. So we're going to learn unreal and if we're going, this is what we're going to learn. Here we have the first idea, the word if. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay, so tell me, what would the woman do if she found
Uh huh. One more time. Let's listen because nobody answered. Okay. So let's listen one more time. Don't worry. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding! If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm. You've got a point there. Okay. So, what would the woman do if she found it, Daniel? Hi, teacher. Good evening and a good evening to everyone. Uh, what this song or this listen practice is talking about at a, at a woman says, what would we do with seventy found thousand dollars? This is the name of honesty, really. <laughs> so what would she do? What did she say, Daniel? Uh, she said that um she can found this uh, this money she spent all this money and uh, maybe in more or the other for shopping and spend a lot of all the, that money and this is not honestly okay all right thank you very much daniel what I about this is man? not honesty because the, the money is, is She's not the owner. Okay, correct, correct. And guys, what about the man? What did the man say? What did Phil say he would do with seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Do you think he would agree with the woman, or do you think he would do something different? He is not agree with the woman. He doesn't agree, right? How do you know? What does he say that you say, ah, he doesn't agree? What words does he say? Because uh, he recommends uh, to her uh, don't do it because uh, she can she can be in, in, in the jail or go to the jail. Mm -hmm. She can go to jail. Exactly. There you go. Good. Let's listen to what happens next. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? So what would the man do? What would Phil do? Uh -huh. In this case, mm -hmm. the man says that... Um, he go to the police and bring the, the money and give there. Okay, yeah, he would take the money to the police. Exactly. Now, what we are listening to is called second conditional. Second conditional is this. We use the word if because we imagine and we use the verbs in the past tense. That's the main idea of the second conditionals. These are for unreal. We're going to watch a little bit more to get a better understanding of unreal. This is the idea. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program and our explanation. 
Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. So, what is the most important? The grammar. Here, we're looking at always we're going to use if and the verb in the past tense. This is like two sentences in one. You have to imagine two sentences. In the first sentence is going to be if and the past part in the past tense. If I found, if I went, if I saw, okay? In the second part, you're going to use the models, would, could, might, may, and you're going to use the verb in present. You can change the order, but it has to be this grammar. So it's okay to say, I would go straight to the mall if I found 750,000. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry if I found. All of these are okay, but you have to make sure that is the if with the past tense and the model with the present tense. Is that okay? Flor, when do we use the past tense? With if or with the model? With the model. Correct. We use it. Oh, no, no, no. no. Uh, the past tense, no with the model. Sorry, Flor. No with the model. We use the past tense with if. We use the, ah, okay. we use the present tense with the models. I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in our discussion box. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice that grammar. We're going to do some exercises to help us understand a little bit more the idea with if, okay? Mm -hmm. But before we begin, do we have any questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. So we're going to have three exercises. Exercise one and two are easy, they're multiple choice. Exercise one is in positive, exercise two is in negative, 
and then exercise three, you have to write the answers. Okay. So we have positive, negative, and then the last one is writing. Please click the three links or copy and paste them into Word or to post it or somewhere so that when you open another page, you have them. Okay, do you have them? Just the three links? Yes, no, it's okay. Yes, teacher, start now. Okay, all right, good. I'm waiting for someone to answer and everybody's quiet. Ah, yes, Daniel, you have a question. Yeah, I, not a question, but it's a comment. Uh, look, I I live in San Martin and I think nearly is a storm, electrical storm in my connection is unstable. So, um, okay. Uh, Yes. Thank I you. I have the same I have the same problem, teacher. Sorry, Daniel. Sorry, teacher. I have the same problem because I live near Daniel. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, no problem. Uh thank you for telling us. If you have some connection, we try to help you with the partner sharing the screen or you connect again. Okay. Teacher, I yes. have the same I have the same problem with my I don't can open the links, perhaps you can send me. Uh, why, can, uh, why can't you open the links, Ivan? I don't know, my, it's my tablet, no, no, no me deja. In, in la no tablet? me deja, si en la tablet, soy, you know, no me deja abrir ese tipo de, de link. Ah, okay, okay. Maybe with the WhatsApp, please send me. Okay, maybe somebody can you, send. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Y estás en el teléfono? O, o, ¿Cómo te va a ayudar el WhatsApp? Eh, tengo el teléfono, tengo la tablet y mi laptop también. Tengo tres dispositivos, pero este... Oh, eh, my gosh, Iván. Yeah, 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 Iván, usa device. uno. Usa uno. Usa la pues laptop. Sí. Ah. I already paused. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, el next week uh, I'll be using like uh, the laptop. Lots of <laughs> yeah, only only use the laptop. No hay que complicarse. Solo, solo un dispositivo. That's it. It's, it. The camera, the camera with my laptop is bad. No problem. But there okay, you have teacher. no complications. Okay, next week. Next week. Okay, okay. All right, let's go for it. Let's try. I don't can see I don't can see the, the, the links I have a problem uh, I think in the next week I I call Ivan check the, what are you standing what's up Ivan oh whoa 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 well thank you thank you thank you oh mm. yes yes the chair 
it's my phone. Okay, let me try in my computer if if I can. Let me try. Let me try. Um, this is the exercise verb conditionals. Let me share the screen. Tell me if you want, if you look. Okay. Okay. Let me see, is the second condition now? This is our exercise affirmative sentence. If you... Now, yes, you I see. My, okay? Yes. Okay, the number one is if you will when? be younger. No, where? If you were if younger. You were younger yes. You, you would study chemistry or study? study? Eh, study yes. I will study. Stu study. I believe. Uh, I remember that it's, the teacher said with the the second bar is in past. It's in past. It's okay, no, teacher. Okay, okay. The number two is if will snow will snow. We, we no no no. Oh, remember that if is the verb in past. The second oh. is the verb in uh huh. Uh, it, it's now we we will build, build a snowman yes remember if past uh, tense the second the model in present okay okay number three sure I Okay. Uh, the first is for you. I, if I were you, this is the example. Number one is if, if you were for us, so. huh? uh -huh. if I if I had enough money, if I had enough money. I buy a chat. A yacht. Buy a chat. He will be happy. He will be happy. If you dance in the past, if you if dance, dance, dance with. If they stay drunk, if they drunk, so don't see. They drinking. I see my phone. They drunk something. Drink a bit. They drink. They drink. Number four. If she, if she had a bike, she traveled. To Galicia. A 
I if you wrong, I don't know if it's wrong or wrong the, the past. If you wrong. Wrong. wrong the bell, somebody would somebody answer me. Answer. Tiene que filiar wood. It, it was nice. Vamos a preguntar a San Google aquí, if you help it. Ay, pero que mi conexión está un poco lenta. Ajá, cuando sí, estamos. Déjame ver. If. If you help. If you help. Teacher, can you explain me if when I use the answer in this case? Because the number five is if you help. Usamos el pasado aquí? Yes. With the if, okay. the verb in the past. If, usamos el pasado. Correct. Okay. Y luego dice, I would, cuando aquí está diciendo temprana o muy temprano, utilizamos... El otro condicional o la otra parte dice would. So, one part if, one part model. Okay, okay. So, no For repeat. Example, no repeat. Uh, one, si usas pasado en una, no lo usas en el otro. Si usas en el otro, es model, no usas en el otro. No pueden repetir. Okay, okay. And the number six is if you me a coin, dice acá. If you gave, eso lo, ya lo utilizamos en pasado. Si tú me, da, si tú me das, me diste una moneda, yo podría comprar un, sería así. If you gave me a coin, I would buy an ice cream. Yes. Okay, only <laughs> eight, eight, <laughs> Uh, ah, aquí está. Ahí utilizamos. Okay, we're okay. You had to finish the three, but I saw you only finish one <laughs> or two. Uh huh. Don't worry, we're gonna practice more. Yes, you you finish two, and the other group only finish one. It's okay. We're going to practice a little bit more in just a moment. And the idea is for you to have some things. So I'm going to give you one more practice, and I'm going to give you questions for you to practice also the speaking. So here is the link for one more exercise to practice. And here I'm going to give you the link for the speaking practice. So we're going to do both, right? We have two practice. We're going to finish the writing practice, the grammar, and then we're going to use the speaking, okay? 
open the links or copy the links and make sure you have them. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the questions. Did you open the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, ask me a question. Okay, the number one is, if Alex sells, sells his old mobile, mobile, he will buy a new MP3 player. No, no, not, not the grammar, the, the second link with the questions, the second link with the questions for the speaker. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. No, no, it's okay, no problem. That is the grammar practice. You're going to practice with your partner for writing, but then we have the other practice for speaking. Okay, okay. Lord, go ahead, Xiomara. Ivan, ask me a question. Go ahead. Look at the list. Choose a question. Okay, teacher. Um, if you could, which superhero would you? Xiomara, can you please repeat? Let me because my connection is low. Yes, the connection is here. Sorry. I will repeat it. Yes. Can I repeat it? Yes. Okay. Uh, if you could superhero, which sup would you be? Well, if I could be a superhero, I think I would love to be a superhero um, such as Spider-Man, um, Batman, or Superman. Those are, I think, I think those are some of the best superheroes. Uh, I think Batman is the most logical because Batman is only rich. It's not that he has superpowers, only that he has a lot of technology. And that would be really good because that could be possible. But Superman would be very nice because Superman is has all of the powers eh, for speed and flying and many other things. And Spider-Man doesn't have the ability to fly, nor does uh Batman. So I think in the end, the best option for the superhero would be Superman because he can do the same as Batman and Spider-Man. Plus he has more superpowers like strength. And remember the same with your partner, 45 seconds, 45 seconds. No, no me vengan con que, ah, Batman, Spider-Man, 45 seconds. Y cuenten las oraciones. Tengan el reloj. Mídenlo. 45 seconds. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Let's practice with our partners then. So now we have two activities. Finish the grammar and the speaking activity.
de pantalla. Yeah. Mm. Screen. Could you see yeah. the screen? See the, I can see the time is. Okay. No volver a tener este problema. Ay, okay, uh, don't share the question. Uh, we can ask uh, uh, because I open the link. Uh, it's a hard decision because when I when I do when I do a an exam or a test, is the nerve. I am nervous because all ch in my my all ch always change what is the answer, what is the the numbers and. And I try to to give some help to my to my classmate, but this is the this is not good because um, the test when I think the test is for make or for um, reach with the uh, knowledge about some topic and. When uh, it's difficult for me, look, this is the, my time, one minute, sorry. <laughs> ah, you're counting the time. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. ask me. <laughs> okay, I always when the conversation question with use what if, okay? Mm -hmm. For case, I will do uh, the best of the exam. Some. and I, I will give uh, the best uh, answer because uh, we are prepared uh, after before uh, to to make this to do this to do this and then I can see the best well, well I can do the best for the Wow, if someone is asking you for the for your answers, would you share it with him? Hello. No, estoy perdido. Espérame. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hector. Are you taking the yeah. time? Yeah. Uh, if someone asks ask me a question if you say it i don't i don't sure the answer because he's mm -hmm. uh how do you say trampa it's a cheating it's, a it's cheating yeah and in uh, any um somewhere um it's cada king it's each other. Each other. Uh, let uh, there let to to do to uh, to each study. other. Each yes. other must study. Study. Must the, study. Yes. Must study for the exam. Mm -hmm. And if you sure the answer, you can. Couch you for your teacher and your teacher say say you hey what happened and will be is the error and mistake and both can be uh, go to the the direction of the uh, castigo un castigo yes may you will have a punishment for cheating yeah punishment for cheating for me it's a is an error when i say hey i think i think will be an a beer why so tell me why, <laughs> why? Because it is funny to say because the beer um, in a while is very ugly. It's really um, beautiful. <laughs> this is the answer. 
but I think the the bird is a is a is a big animal and it's strong. It's a it's a big animal when the in the forest. I I think this is a king of the forest, but it's a bigger and I strong. I mm -hmm. think that, and I will be an animal. I wanna, I wanna be an 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 a bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, the time is over in this part. I don't okay. know if we are going to continue answering this or the grammar. Okay, uh, if you want, I uh, told I ask the last question. Okay. <laughs> is yeah. Because this is a very embarrassed uh, situation for everybody who is uh, looking at him. So yeah. this person uh, doesn't have any education to because uh, he is showing showing himself in underwear. Yeah. Uh, what is the meaning underwear? Is the, the take, take de la ropa, inter la ropa interior. Oh, okay. <laughs> time, 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 time. Okay. If, if Brian, I have a question for you. Go ahead. If you could ask good any one question, what would you, what would it be? Repeat the question, please. If you could ask good. No, if you could ask God any one question, what would it be? I don't can understand you. Okay, uh, Hector is trying to tell you if you could ask to God, to the Lord, one question, what would it be? Yeah. Oh, my the Christ. Lord. Ah, the Jesus sorry. Christ. I out, I out. Yes. Estoy, estoy, sorry, sorry, estoy topado, estoy topado. <laughs> Don't worry, out. it's okay, it's okay. Don't Mira, worry. estoy, lo siento, lo siento. Uh, so, uh, a question uh, shorter for you, Ivan. Um, it... Yeah, this is true. <laughs> when the, this, this part of the activity, the time is run really fast. Yeah. But if you if you want, we select the other the other um, exercise. The other exercise. <clears throat> yes. Let me share my. Yes. Tell me, you can see my screen. Let me see. Yes. Okay. This is the okay, this second. Conditional. Cool. I think it's in, ne it's in neg negative in questions. Um, I think this is the same situation when I use in, in the, the first part. Okay. In this the first is... part, we said not, and the other will. Mm -hmm. For example, it wasn't so cool. It wasn't so cold. You wouldn't be um, a different. It wasn't so cold. If you would close the window, si hubiera cerrado la ventana. Sí, yes, yes, it's like that. Yeah, I think I think the same. Okay, mm -hmm. the number two. If I if I didn't feel burned. If I, if I didn't feel better, I wouldn't go I think, I think it's opposite because when we use, uh -huh, if I wouldn't feel better, I no, didn't know. No, I didn't. No. No, it's wrong. No, that's. No. Mm. If I. If I didn't yeah. feel better. It's a, uh, if I didn't feel better, I will. No, iría corriendo. Ah, si no me siento. 
Ay, no, no, no. Pero es así. I don't feel better. If I don't. Situation I have had. I have been um, at the end uh, a good things. And for that reason, there's a, a phrase here. Um, no hay mal que por bien no venga. But this is in, in this is for a this is for a each each one. But in general, some situations in general in countries in the South, South Africa, there's many countries who people don't have any to it, and, and this is why why these people is is in that situation. I I have. Have been many many videos of that people and I cry when I see that. Yeah, the the these people those people are very uh, very uh, it's very sad, sad very very sad to see sad. to see them. Okay, yeah. Hector, I have another question for you. Yeah. This is an interesting question. If you could be an animal, what animal would you be? It's <laughs> difficult. <laughs> but I it's think <laughs> if, if I could be an animal, I like like this I lion because a lion is a the strong king. <laughs> and, uh, the king. But the lion is doesn't the strong and this doesn't the the he doesn't the the more intelligent animal but he is very he's very intelligent when he ca he catch uh, Okay. I can't believe only only rich with floor forty one percent teacher. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All was wrong. <laughs> All was wrong. All was wrong. Don't worry. That's important of practicing, and that's why we want to correct. So let me go back. Let's take a look at the video because we want to make sure that not only in speaking but also in grammar we understand. When you are speaking, it's important not to get used to speaking in Spanish. Don't say words in Spanish. Don't say the things in Spanish. If you don't know, you don't know. But you don't speak in Spanish. Why? Because if you continue with Spanish, your brain never associate, never have to work to speak in English. If you don't know the word, write it down. Write down the word. After the class, investigate. If you don't know two words, write them down. If you don't know 20 words, write them down but only try to focus in English. Because when you have a situation, the Americans, the Canadians, the, the British, whatever, they're not going to understand if you are speaking in Spanish. I, I, made, uh, I, I, I made an error. Uh, they, what is an error? They don't know. You, you have to continue. I, I, if you don't know the word, use other words. Choose the words that you know. Oh, I... Uh, is not correct, um, is not right. I made a mistake. I made a uh, whatever. You can use many different ways, but the idea is the same for all of the words in English. If you don't know, use the antonym, use a description, use a synonym, use explanation, use different technique, but only use English. In this moment, we're going to review the grammar because I see the grammar is a little complicated. We didn't get a good score in the grammar in both groups. Let's take a look. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? Okay, so here, let's take a look. One more time, focus, make sure that it's clear. If you use the word, when you use the word, if, how is the verb? The verb is going to be in what? Past participle. In past tense. No past participle in past tense. Good. 
And when you use the models, would, could, might, may, okay, how is going to be the verb? Present. Present. Simple present. Exactly. So always, always is the same rule. If you use if, okay. Uh, now, in English, it's very common not to use was. With if, we always use were. If I were, if you were, if she were, if they were, if we were, not if he was. No. Always we're going to use were with if. Okay? Okay, teacher. Good. So, what are we going to do? Here we have a couple examples. If she had a lot of money, ah, if, verb in past. The second part, could, verb in present. The same, we change the order. Oh, look, would, verb in present, be. Ah, if, verb in past, one. If, verb in past, were. Remember, no was for second conditional, only were. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Also, uh, for verb to be, it will be always were. Correct. Okay. Always were. Yes. Okay. So, now we have a little bit of an idea. One more time. Remember, you can change the order. You can have at the beginning, at the end, is the same. But with if... With if, we're going to have past tense. With model, we're going to have present tense. It's okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here we have one more practice just to make sure that you improve because 40, 60 is not enough. We want to have 80, 90, 100. Remember the rule. If, past tense, modal, verb in present. For example, in this part, in the number one, if you turns turn, turns a culture, the volume down, the music sound clearer. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you turn the volume down, the music will sound that or some. Won't sound that. Yes. Because in, in the first part, use the verb the, in present. Present. And the second part, the uh, use in past. Okay. If to change, this is in past, could turn. turn. Okay. Number two, this sound. Hit. Keep the chart is they record, record the. It's Jordan, E.D., but the, the, the but in past, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we uh, we uh, choose turn. 
Sure, yeah. See what happened, okay. The, the, mu the music cool wool 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 sound. Yeah, wood the second. Sound. The second, yes. This song. This song may hit. Hit hit is for hit. It's the same in present and in first person. We wrote hit. May hit. So, Hit. This sound With make hit. No hits, hit. Hit. Uh, ah, make. no, 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 no. My, you're right. My hit. My hit. <laughs> my hit. Yeah. Chart. Chart. If they record the, in, the, in the first person. one. Okay. Your your pencil pencils could break wouldn't break. Wouldn't break if you packed packed the, the last the last yes. if the girl to the bed earlier a wooden jam the sandal si fueran a dormirse te... they couldn't jump okay. yeah yeah se pasa se okay yeah. uh, 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 uh. could you a like sparker. could you like a sport girl could you like a sport girl I, I sport girl you you have have yeah in past okay if then close Closed. Closed. Mm -hmm. Pass. Closed. It wouldn't be the new words. I know. Uh, sorry. It wouldn't fall in the kitchen. What it means? Uh, the yeah. Denise. Okay, pretty good. I know that you didn't get a chance to finish, but the important is that we got most of it ready and we had a practice. Now, remember, what is the correct form? In the if part, we're going to use the simple past. In the modal clause, in the second part, we're going to use models and the verb in present. The same like the examples that we have here. If I studied, I would pass the exam right? The verbs in past. The same, you can change the order. I would pass the exams if I studied. So remember, you can always change the order, but the rule is that with if, the verb is in past. And the second part would be the verb in present with the model. I'm going to send you this link in case you want to check it out or see it and look at some examples to make sure that it's clear for you. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. <laughs> I uh, didn't feel the time. <laughs> that's good. That's good. So that means that we are finished for today. Remember, we only have four classes. So next week, we have a lot of work to do. And we are going to finish next week. Okay? Okay, teacher. Good All night. Right. Have a nice week. Good night. Day. Bye. Okay. Good night. Have, a, have a good rest for you everyone. Too. Good. Have a good weekend. You too. Thank you.